Ich begrüße euch ganz herzlich auf der Bonga Live. Ich bin der Dominik, euch als Kipper. Und wir sind jetzt gerade zu Bali losgesegelt, Richtung Christmas Island. Und dann geht es weiter Richtung Cocos Island. Das sind ca. 1110 Meilen. Und ich rechne, dass wir ca. Ja, 12 Tage brauchen, bis wir da sind. Unterdessen haben wir Bali verlassen. Es war sehr eindrücklich zu sehen, wie viel Plastik wir auf der Insel gefunden haben. Wir sind nun auf dem Weg nach Christmas Island und wir sind alle sehr gespannt, was wir äh, in Sachen Plastik aus dem Meer fischen werden. I'm uh, Dr. Marcus Eriksson, I'm the Director of Research for the Five Gyres Institute. And I've got a couple of trawls with, it, with me to see what's on the open sea. Hallo, ich bin Zirko, bin hier für einen zweimonatigen Segeltrip. Und es hat sich getroffen, dass die Expedition während ihrer Reise stattfindet. Ich bin der Putz, ich bin seit acht Jahren noch nicht hier auf der Boeing allein. Ich bin in St. Lustra gestartet, bin nach 14'000 Seemeilen Bali angekommen. Hier ist äh, der Forscher für uns zurückgekommen und ich bin sehr gespannt, was da rauskommt und wie man schon alles in der Welt findet. Okay, ready? One. This is the debut, this is the first time this trawl has touched the water. Exactly. Ocean Care is brand new trawl. Deep though. <laughs> Count of three. One, two, three. We placed now the trawl for the first time in the water. Can you maybe explain us a bit more in detail how the whole trawl system works? It's, it's a very simple device. It has a, a one millimeter, one third millimeter mesh uh, behind the aluminum frame. You throw in the water and it just skims the ocean surface going five or six knots. And the intention is for it to collect what's on the surface, what's floating within like maybe 10 centimeters of the surface. And that range can adjust as the trawl is moving up and down with the waves. Why do you especially focus on plastic? I mean, there is also other trash out in the oceans. We do find other things. We find wood, glass, we find metals. Uh, often they're attached to plastic. And if you look at all what we do find that's human-made, anthropogenic debris, almost like 90% is plastic. In the middle of the ocean, almost 99% is plastic. And what has the most harmful effect is the plastic. It gets persistent, it can look like food, it can be a food mimic. It also absorbs all kinds of toxins that it can release into organisms. Media started to talk about uh, plastic island or even though a plastic continent. Is it an urban myth or does it really exist? Or What island? There's no island out there. And that's the interesting part of this. This whole science of plastics is that it began with this media sensationalized myth of there being an island of trash you can walk on. It does not exist. What's interesting is that really sparked a movement. It got the world talking about plastic trash in the oceans, these big giant islands. They didn't exist, but the idea of that, it got people to question the plastic industry, to ask their government, do something about it. But what's interesting is that the reality is much worse. Uh, if, it, if it were an island, I mean, we could go get an island. We could take a ship and go mine all that plastic and bring it back, back home, back to land. But the reality is we have microplastic, it's a thin soup of microplastics everywhere in the world. And I have been about 40,000 miles of sailing, collecting well over 800 samples. And most of those, over 95%, contain small microplastic particles. So the world has become this soup of thinly dispersed, almost impossible to collect microplastics blanketing the entire world's oceans. I have a number which is like 140 million tons of plastic should float now and that every year six million tons new plastic will be put, uh, put into the ocean. Is this, are these correct numbers or what can you tell me about that? So one, one paper that was published two months ago estimated between seven and 35,000 metric tons of trash was in the world's ocean. We also do macroplastics, so in total we estimate 270,000 metric tons. Mm -hmm. 